there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we are going over Clementine and Danny Save the World and Each Other by Livia Blackburn. So this book has yet to be released. It actually comes out on July 18th of this year, 2023. I was given this book as an advanced reader copy for free in exchange for my honest feedback from HarperCollins Children's Books and Quail Tree Books. So let's get into it. So this book is a young adult book. It's a teen romance kind of book. Um, it's definitely got um, You've Got Mail kind of vibes. A little bit Cyrano de Bergerac vibes a little bit. Not nearly as much more you Got Mail. But on a deeper level, it's so much more than that. Like, I I'm an adult. I'm in my mid-30s and I found this book utterly charming. So this is definitely one that can be read for all ages. Um, Clementine is an anonymous blogger reviewer of Chinatown in California. Uh, she goes by the name Hibiscus online and she does a great job reviewing local tea houses and boba places around the area, but she has one troll that is persist consistently making her life a living hell and that is Boba Boy. Boba Boy is secretly Danny who goes to school with Clementine and the two of them come together as the only two people in a group to stop the takeover of Kale Corp from buying the local uh, strip mall in their area and turning it into one of their conglomerates. It's very much an Amazon Whole Foods kind of a vibe. It doesn't have the ending I thought it was going to from the title but I love the ending. The ending is so great. This book deals with youth activism. It deals with family, uh, family obligation, roles, drama, trauma, and uh, corporate greed. It deals with pursuing your dreams and your desires and young love and the power of online anonymity. This book has everything for a reader. It's absolutely phenomenal. Please, please, please go check it out once it comes out. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, I will definitely be buying a copy. It's a great read. I cannot wait for the release. Thank you again for HarperCollins Children's Books and Quill Tree Books for giving me a copy of this to review. As always, all opinions are my own, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!